Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at OSPF. Particularly within OSPF, we're going to be taking a look at troubleshooting OSPF. So in this lab we have two routers. We have router 1 and router 2. Both routers are in area 0. The network between router 1 and router 2 is 192.168.12.0 and then we have a loopback 0 interface on both router 1 and 2. Router 1's loopback 0 is 1.1.1.0 slash 24 and router 2's loopback 0 is 2.2.2.0 slash 24. So what we're going to look at in this lab is a couple of trouble tickets asking us to fix some issues within our OSPF domain which are not working properly. So again this is OSPF troubleshooting lab 1. Let's go ahead and take a look at our trouble tickets. We have two tickets assigned to troubleshooting lab 1. The first ticket says R1 is unable to form an OSPF neighbor relationship with R2. Configure the network so that R1 and R2 form an OSPF neighbor relationship once connectivity is fully restored, R1's loopback 0 interface 1.1.1.1 should be able to ping R2's loopback 0 interface, which is 2.2.2.2. Okay, so simple enough. For trouble ticket number 1, R1 and R2 are unable to form an OSPF neighbor relationship. The first couple things that we need to remember between R1 and R2 we have fast Ethernet 00, 0 interfaces so the network type for OSPF is going to be broadcast by default on the interfaces so this type of OSPF neighbor relationship we will see a designated router and backup designated router so just like the other troubleshooting labs the first thing I like to do when troubleshooting an issue is to make sure that we have reachability at layer 3 before we get into any more advanced network issues or problems that we might be seeing. So in this case what we want to do is bring up router 1 and again one of the best commands to do to see layer 1 through 3 information on the local router is show IP interface brief on R1 we see that fast Ethernet 00, 0 has the IP address of 192.168.12.1 we see 